Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you the MyTech uh, UHF 5 watt handheld radio system. Now I've demonstrated these in the past, I've done a few videos now and I've also done a review on them. However today I want to show you the software that I've actually managed to find and get hold of. It's not been easy uh, but the software now enables me to change a few of the features on here, mainly the frequencies and uh, the fact that it beeps and the squelch control. Don't really need to change them to be honest, the radio works perfectly well as it is. However, because you can do it, I want to be able to do it. I don't intend on reprogramming these in any way at all. However, the ability is there for me to do them should I wish to now. You can still only change them uh, within the, uh, the given spectrum, which is obviously uh, 7 centimeters uh, UHF. Uh, it's about 449 megahertz these operate on. So you can only change them slightly. You can probably cover the other PMR channels 446 as well, but I can't see why I'd need to do that. Um, but anyway, this is the radio, and I'm going to show you now how to do it. The first thing we need to do is to plug it into your lead. Now, the lead is a standard lead. Um, it's the standard socket you get on this radio, these two pins here, which is where you get into all the radios, as you would have seen on the, the various reviews that I've done. So uh, let's just get this plugged in, and then we'll show you how it works. Right, now the computer lead that I use, the computer's under my workbench, and it's very difficult to get to. I've not got an extension lead yet. It's something I do mean to do. But the first thing we need to do is to get the lead. There we go, there's a two-pin lead. And that just plugs into the side of the radio, plugged in like so. Turn the radio on. And then I just leave it on top there. The screen, okay. And then this um, is the screen. It's not an ideal screenshot. Okay, the software I'm going to be using, uh, it was called the S820 software. Now I've just reprogrammed it to call it MyTech in front just to make it a bit easier because I've got quite a few different bits of software for radios on here. Well, this is effectively the screen that you're going to get when you first load it up. It's uh, like all the other software that you get for these radios. It's all uh, Chinese. Uh, you have to convert it by pressing a little button, one of the menus at the top there, they'll convert it into uh, uh, English for you. But basically, once you've done that, this is the screen. And the first thing you want to do is to, you want to read what's on the radio at the moment. Okay. That's not worked. Let me just change the, the comm settings. Uh, I thought it was COM port 2. Let's just try that one again. There we go doesn't work straight away for some reason but well, that's just reading the screen now um, and here we go this gives you what we've got a program so far okay so zooming in onto the screen then very simple on the left hand side it's got all the channels there channels 1 to 16 I'll just zoom out just a little bit you should see that there we go channels 1 to 16 the frequency range this is what the radios come programmed as already okay so 449 decimal 31250 449 decimal 40000 and 449 decimal 47500 those are the three frequencies that this radio uses and as you can see channel 4 goes back to the same frequency as channel 1 and also it's the same frequency as channel 10 and the same frequency as channel 13 um, so, very simple, it just changes the, uh, the coding on it. You've got the CTC double S codes, um, and it's just got different codes, and the, uh, the DO code, or the DN codes as well. Um, I don't want to change this at the moment, but if I did want to change it, for instance, so like I wanted to go to 446 megahertz, you can do so. 446. And if it wants to change these codes, uh, like so, you can do. You can change it from wide band to narrow band. At the moment, we're okay to use wide. Busy lock. Um, this basically means that if the green light is on the radio, which means it's receiving a signal, um, you may not be able to hear it, but the radio is picking the signal up, it, it will not enable you to transmit. You'll only be able to transmit if it's not picking up any signal. That's what I uh, understand that one to mean. Okay, so that's what that is there. So that's how you can change them, and then you can go into the uh, the optional features, um, time out time, uh, 120 seconds. I believe that if you're on open transmit for more than 120 seconds, it, it turns it off. Squelch level, you got levels zero all the way up to nine, 
Um, obviously, if you've got it onto zero or, or number one, you're going to hear the uh, the carrier in the background. Uh, to cut out a lot of the uh, the crappy noise in the background, the higher it is, the more chance of that happening. Uh, radios on this, these radios are on level four. Level four or level five, those are what I tend to use anyway on the handheld radios. Um, priority channel, not really sure what that means. Um, not really sure what that one is either. Beep, you can have it so it doesn't beep. Battery saver mode, voice uh, automated uh, transmission, on or off, keep it off. Voice gain, sorry, Vox gain, obviously that will determine how sensitive it is for voice activation. And then underneath here you've got the uh, delay time. Um, so for half a second it'll take for it to start transmitting after it's picking up your voice. And once you're happy, you press OK. And then if you want these new settings now to apply to your radio, you just press the right button. Now, I'm not going to do that, obviously, because I don't want to uh, write over what's already on the radio. But it really is as simple as that. So, with that in mind, then, um, these Myotech radios, really pleased with. Uh, I've used them quite a few times since I've done my last reviews. Um, and I have to say that, you know, they're very expensive for what they are. If you consider, you can get one of these radios here, uh, which I think cost me about £60 a few months ago. A crunch table is a dual band, fully programmable. Um, it's sort of like half the price of these. Um, but these are very sturdy, and for what they are, they're okay, I suppose. But uh, I would recommend them if you need some communications, two way, point to point, then yeah, give these a go. Um, but if you want something with a bit more sophistication, a few more options, then something like this. Or at the moment, my favourite being, as I've probably said a few times now, my favourite one, which is the uh, the Wuxon. Uh, I'm not getting paid in any way to advertise Wuxon. I'm not getting any uh, anything from it. Uh, I genuinely do believe this is a better radio. Um, but there you go. So, good radios to use. Good radio. Okay, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to catch you again very soon. Take care.